no Hello, items. ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some Eden Brawl. Uh, today, we're going to be spectating, and I am not familiar with the controls for spectating on the new build, so we're going to figure it out uh, as we go, actually. <laughs> okay. So, it looks like now we're following someone. Uh, instead of just uh, going freehand. So, it's gonna be a matter of choosing who we follow, probably. Uh, I don't think I can click, I can just, like, shuffle through people to follow. So, we're gonna have to uh, try to do that. I guess. <laughs> anyway. Uh, first uh, uh, round starting already, the red team losing one player, uh, yeah. but uh, looks like they're defending themselves pretty well actually. We have a little duel between Tom and Bakery right here, and Kana is doing a lot of damage to that janitor, but now is finding herself uh, surrounded by a lot of the enemy team. Uh, is gonna get out of it though it looks like, and is gonna take down, ooh, is gonna be yeah. taken down actually. I thought Tom was going to fall there, but that does not appear to be the case. But Hammond for the red team does fall, and uh, that ink for the blue team not doing so well. Meanwhile, we have Hot Paws capturing that first secondary objective, lowering the defense on that blue uh, end zone. Uh, now getting chased, but I think we're gonna try to follow the action of the ball. And we're shuffling, people. We're shuffling, but we're getting there. Now we're following Naoi, who is in the action, so that's gonna be who we follow uh, for now. Let me click just on people. I wonder if the objective being removed is can I can I choose who I'm following? Oh, I can close that. That's a, that's a good to know actually. Uh, okay, we're gonna follow Bakery for a while, maybe Silas. Yeah, we're gonna follow Silas, getting stunned by the, by a big old from the Hammond. And looks like uh, the Hammond uh, for... Unfortunately, I cannot see the team of the, uh, uh, the carrier, considering their health bar is replaced by the... Uh, carrier health or ball health so <laughs> I cannot know who they are playing for but uh, that's not a too big of a problem we'll try to watch this oh good grab from hot boss is gonna keep the blue team from grabbing the ball and the red team is gonna be in control now it looks like they are going to relinquish uh, control of the ball to the blue team and Tom now 1v2 may be able to grab yes going to throw that in very precise throw from Tom is going to allow him and he grabs the ball again actually with a sliver of health he's carrying this ball uh, <laughs> this ball mechanic this aspect of the game like a champ uh, but probably going to fall now. The blue team is not looking too healthy at the moment. Silas and Habitual, uh, very low on health. Hammond actually falling right now. Uh, but they do have they, the blue team does still have control of the ball, and do take down uh, the red team snooker. Now the ball uh, in the middle of the field. Sitam is going to fall. Bakery is going to grab it uh, once again, and the red team is now advancing. And it does not look too good for the blue team. Hammond jumping onto the blue team's Hammond. <laughs> Grabbing the ball now. And I think the goal is open. I think it's open for a dunk. And there we go. That's going to be the first round going to the red team. So for anyone wondering how these side objectives work. Uh, right now, uh, in contrast to uh, what it was before. Uh, you cannot uh, score in the end zone before you reduce its health to zero. It starts at 100 health and then uh, is, uh, well, you, you can score when it gets to zero. But to reduce it to zero, you have to do something in the game. A lot of uh, things, I believe, do uh, rent or deal damage to the goal. I think killing enemies does deal damage to the enemy's end zone, uh, but also grabbing those side objectives to uh, reduce the health of the enemy team's end zone. So if you stand near the objective, you're gonna channel it uh, for a second and those little pedestals are going to come out of 
uh, the ground, and if you can throw the ball into the pedestal, uh, that's going to reduce the health of uh, the end zone, getting you closer to the, po uh, the possibility of a scoring. And uh, at the moment, just scoring once does give you the round. That's a bit of the mechanic of the game at the moment. That's what we're trying out actually right now, uh, just to see if that feels good. Uh, having played myself once, uh, I didn't think it uh, it was working out. It did allow you to... Oh, Ooh, now we look stuck right now. Okay. Well, he's unstuck. <laughs> Because he's dead. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it did feel good. Uh, it did feel like you had many ways of playing the game. You could play for the ball and try to go around uh, side objectives to, to kind of score in those side objectives. Uh, but you could also try to team fight uh, to get the, the end zone's health down. So it did allow uh, a lot of different plays, but all of which were creating action in the game, which was good which was fun. Uh, so, with that said, we're going to try to go back uh, in the action in commentating, and it looks like the red team is retreating, just keeping the ball close. And they can really go into the, in the spawn to get back some health. What's going on here? Silas going after uh, FF jump. But where is the ball? Can we find the ball here? There we have him, Comentis, for the red team. Oh, I see. Okay, that little health does stay of the color of the team. So that's Comentis for the red team. He's going to lose the ball to C Tom, who's going to try to throw it to a teammate. But Bakery is going to be able to grab it again. Ooh, throws it to Habitual. We go down who's a very low on health, actually, might get taken down. Uh, Comentis grabs it, uh, grabs the ball again, is going to be able to make the pedestal come out, uh, but I'm not sure he's going to be able... No, he was not able... Ooh, actually, we lost the ball to a ball. Uh, so he did not throw it in the pedestal, but I don't think he would have been able even without that little bug. But uh, who knows what would have happened. Now, Silas, in a bad situation, is going to fall to that Kana. And the red team does grab one more side objectives. And it looks like, at the moment, uh, the blue team's end zone is free. And the red team, Hammond, is going for that last score. Match point, and there it is. The game going to the red team. GG, that was a good game for both teams, actually, very interesting in my opinion. Well, with that, I hope you enjoyed that game. Let me know uh, Let me know what you think of the game, of my commentating, of anything and everything you want to talk about. And with that, I'll see you next time.